What's going on guys? Welcome back to the last part of this room, basic malware <coughs> dynamic analysis. And in this video we're going to talk about the tool named RugShot. Now RugShot is a tool that is used to analyze the changes done by the malware or any file on the registry and the file system. The catch is we can optionally select to monitor changes on the file system using RugShot and Instead, we can only focus on monitoring the, uh, the modifications on the registry. So if you go to Tools, <coughs> and then Utilities, and here we have to click on RickShot, and known as Administrator. So when the tool opens, we're going to explain how it works. But in a nutshell, as I said guys earlier, it's a tool to compare the modifications done on the, on the registry by the malware or any file you are trying to analyze. Now basically the modifications include everything that has to do with adding keys, deleting keys, modifying keys, so on and so forth. All of these changes can be logged with RegShot. So how it works, we have to first open the tool take a snapshot of the current registry settings. As you can see, there are interruptions in the network. Let's check. So, So as you can see here guys, we have this basic simple interface. As you can see we have the first um, statement here, compare logs, the first section comparing logs, save as plain text or HTML document. So in here first we have to take the first shot. The first shot is a snapshot of the current registry settings before we run the file or the binary or the malware, call it whatever you want. Um, so what we have to do, we have to take the first shot before we run the sample. Okay. Now let's do that. Now we have the option here, as you can see here, to scan changes on the uh, file system. If you want to monitor changes on the file system, you can click on this box, enable it, and browse to the directory where you want to monitor for the changes. Once you are satisfied with the settings, you can then take the first shot. So I'm gonna untick this one because it's not included in the task of this video. And we're gonna say, first shot we can shot and save shot only takes the uh, snapshot save enables us to take a um, you know output somewhere so let's click on shot as you can see here the keys and the values are being monitored and the snapshot is being taken now as you can see here it's it, uh, it has finished taking the snapshot and we have the date and time the computer name the username who took the snapshot the number of keys the values that have been captured okay now after we have done this you can go ahead and close rickshot now i recommend you guys to close uh rickshot before you run the sample because some malware samples have the ability to detect if um a monitoring tool is running or not. You can close the SAM, you can close RecShot, which is the recommended bot. Um, RecShot has the ability to run in the background, so uh, the sample won't detect that RecShot is running. So let's go and run the sample. It is located under Tools, no, Samples, the third one. So we open it. We give the sample some time to run its course in the system makes the necessary changes and then we go and click on second shot shot now it's taking the second snapshot where it will it will register or it will take the uh, count oh, sorry for the count it will count for the modifications that have been done by the malware or the sample 
After waiting some time, as you can see, we finished running or taking the second shot. And now, as you can see, this option shows up, which is uh, for comparing the two snapshots together and showing the changes. Now, if you click on compare, as you can see, we select compare and output. And as you can see here, we have the output. In the output here, we can see this breakdown. The first thing we can see the <coughs> information or the meta uh, data about the uh, snapshot or the, compar or the comparison that we just performed. You can see the rec shot version, the username, the computer name, the date and time. And then we see breakdown of the keys depending on the operation performed by the malware. As you can see, the malware has deleted 20,287 keys. If you scroll all the way down, you can see <coughs> the path to all of these keys that have been deleted. A long list of keys. Right. And as you can see here, we have lastly total changes performed by the malware is 44,553. Now, what about the keys and the values that have been added? We can search for them by using Control F, typing added and selecting up because we scrolled all the way down to the file find next cannot find added all right now the keys that have been added are 20. sorry 20 keys have been added these are the path of these keys and we have values wise we have 24174 all right so now let's scroll and find the question that we have to answer Analyze the sample using GregShot. There is a registry value added. So as you can see here, value added is a registry value added. So what we have to do, we have to search through the values uh, <coughs> that have been added. These are the deleted values. So these are the keys added. We want the values added, not the keys added. So we're going to have to search for values. All right, as you can see, we have a total of 49 values added to these uh, register keys. As you can see, we see a depiction of the path to the key along with the value. This is the value that have been added, and this is the path to the value in the registry. Now, there is a registry value added that contains the path of the sample. Which sample? This sample. In the format of HKU for the users, and we have this format what's the path of that value after the format mentioned here so we have to find that value and then find its path so what we can do you can take this one take the path of the sample and search with it because it, it is telling you that the value contains the path of the sample or you can take a look at the values added here and <clears throat> search through the values uh, and look for the one that contains the path of the sample now the approach that I took is taking the path of the sample and searching with it as you can see I found this one and indeed it contains the path of the sample what you have to do you have to take the uh, path to the sample excluding the HKU and what comes after you start with software and copy this path so that's the answer for this question so basically this is for the task now for the dynamic analysis of malwares normally we look for again the values added and the um, keys added more importantly we try to find a pattern of <coughs> executable files or scripts added to the registry for example as you can see here this the sample have has been added to the registry as a value so this is a malicious indication that a, a binary has performed or added a path to an executable file in the registry also we look for scripts partial scripts uh, python scripts normally they are used to uh, <coughs> or added to the startup so this is your first target when you analyze the uh, difference between the uh, before and after of running the sample. So guys, that was it today. Now what I have, I'm going to tell you here, <coughs> I have, 
I've taken a couple notes here for the dynamic and static malware analysis. So basically, if, <coughs> let me show you going to uh, malware investigations. And here I have this breakdown of the tools used for malware investigations along with the methods. So we have the dynamic analysis and static analysis. Also, we use the rules. <coughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to add all of the uh, the wrap up of the videos that are related to dynamic and static malware analysis to the uh, malware investigations and probably to the computer forensic as well <coughs> so guys if you are subscribed to channel membership you can grab a copy of this either in google drive or as an empty obsidian file depending on the copyrights of the file as well so that's what it is guys, I hope you like that and I will see you later.